Hey there, Sam. As we discussed in the last lesson, object-oriented programming is all about encapsulating our logic within objects. Now, suppose we want to create a few cars. We'll create an object called Toyota and give it a name property, a brand property, and also a drive function. And now if I want to create a second car, I'll have to write out all the properties again. And if I want to create the third, the fourth, the fifth car, things will become tedious very, very quickly. It would be great if we can create a template that will create a car for us, so we don't have to write everything from scratch. Is there such thing in JavaScript? The answer is yes. And the template is called class. Let's learn how to create a template for our car object now. To create a class, we first start with the class keyword, followed by the class name. And as a convention, we would capitalize the class name. So next time when you see something with a capital case, it's very likely that it is a class and we can create an object out of it. After the name, we'll put a curly braces. And this is class in the most basic form. And now to create an object out of this class, we are going to use the new keyword. So let's create a new variable and set it equal to new car. The new keyword will create a new object out of the class. And we refer this process as instantiating a new object out of a class. And we refer Suzuki as an instance of the car class. Let's complete our car class. Now to give a default property to the object instantiated from this class, all we need to do is to type out the property name and set it equal to some value. And now if we console out suzuki.name, we should see a car in the console. And there we go. However, we don't want default value. We want the ability to customize the name of the car when we create an object out of a class. And this can be done using something called the constructor function. In short, the constructor function is a special function that will run every time we created an object out of a class. To define a constructor function, we simply need to type in the word constructor followed by a round bracket and curly braces. And just for demonstration, I'm going to add a console log inside the constructor. And now we see creating a new broom in a console because the constructor function runs when we created our Suzuki object. Now the constructor function can accept arguments. Let's make it accept two arguments name and brand. And we supply the value to these arguments at the time when we created the car object. So the name will be Swift and the brand will be Suzuki. And now back in the constructor, I'll console log out name and brand just for demonstration. And we see Swift and Suzuki in a console. Now using this behavior, we can customize the property of our object instance because now when we create a new car, we can pass anything we want as the argument to the constructor. We just need to reset the name property to the argument supplied. To do that, we'll use the this keyword. The this keyword in any function inside the class represent the object instance created from this class. So in our case here, the this keyword would represent the Suzuki object. So for us to change the name property of the object created, we just need to set this.name equals to the name argument. And for the brand, even though we don't have a default value for it, we can still set it to the object instance in a constructor using the this keyword. And now, as you can see in the console log, the Suzuki object that we created out of this class has a customized name and brand, just like what we passed into the car constructor. Now, the only item remaining for our class is the drive function. To define the function, we just need to type the name of the function and set it equal to an anonymous function. And in our drive function here, I'll just console out room room again. And that's it. I can now call the drive function on Suzuki. And we see room room in the console. That's a shorter way of defining a function in a class. We can put a round bracket right after the function name and skip the function keyword altogether. Defining a function this way is exactly identical to what we had previously. It really just a personal preference. I like the short version better because I'm lazy. And that's it. Our class is completed. We can now create a new car easily using the class that we have just written without writing everything from scratch. And again, just a quick demo, I'll create new instances of car and slightly change the name. These three objects are all different to each other and have their own name and brand. Can you see how easy it is to create a new object out of a class and compare to what we had before? This way is much cleaner. Now the class syntax is actually only available after ES6. ES6 is a JavaScript version that was released back in 2015. It is one of the breakthrough in JavaScript's history that has brought in a lot of good stuff. So prior to ES6, the way we create an object template is to use something called the constructor function. So here's how we declare it. I will replicate the car class using the constructor function. 
we'll start with a function keyword and give it a name. And again, we'll use the capital case. And this function will accept the name and the brand of the car. And inside the function, we can set the name and brand property using the disk keyword. And the drive property will be an anonymous function. And that's it. And we can instantiate object out of this constructor function using the new keyword as well. There's one last thing I want to show you before we end the lesson. We can dynamically add a new function to our constructor function or class using the prototype. So let's say I want to add a start function to car. What I can do is to say car.prototype.start is equal to a function. Prototype is a special property that exists in every object. It is an advanced topic and I'll discuss it in a future video. For now, we just need to know that prototype can be used to add functions on a class. And now I can call the start function on the Suzuki object. And we see starting car in the console. If we do the same on our car one constructor function, we'll get the same result as well. So I'll call the start function on new car and we see starting from car one in the console log as well. So that's a quick introduction to class and the constructor function in JavaScript. We'll learn more about object oriented programming in the next lesson. Key takeaway for this lesson, class is the template for creating object. We use the new keyword to create object instances from class. A class constructor is a special function that runs whenever an object is instantiated. The constructor function is an alternative way to create an object template. The class and the constructor function have the same purpose. It is just a personal preference. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again shortly. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.